Whatever happened to doing things just for fun? That's the question I've been asking myself recently. After studying design for four years, almost all of my design work has been either for assignments or for projects. But now I'm on a journey to reignite my spark for design. So I'm gonna be making a poster for my top rated artists. My top artists on Spotify. So we better look up who that is and we better make sick posters for them, okay? All right, all right. Let's go to Receiptify. What y'all know about Receiptify? I know y'all be posting them on your story. For the artists for the last six months. Okay, so looking like Cashy, man. Top artist Cashy. It's not what it looks like, y'all. I'm not a uh, Kevin Nguyen type beat. Uh, I'm, I'm actually a day one Cashy fan, you know what I'm saying? I actually knew him before he was cool, actually. <laughs> what can I say, guys? I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm a pretty cool guy. I'm a pretty cool guy, y'all. I didn't know he would be my top artist, but I guess we're doing cashy, so let's move to Photoshop. All right, y'all, we are on Photoshop right now. I'm about to start the project in Photoshop and y'all about to see a little bit into my design process. You know, I'm still kind of figuring it out. 24 by 36, create, boom. So I got the picture that I want to base my design around. Oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me find a higher resolution image. What's going on? I found a slightly higher resolution picture. So we're gonna use that. I did some sketching earlier for the idea of a composition. Okay, for this design, I did some research on some design styles that I thought were cool. And I stumbled across this design style called Brutalism. It's like one of the design styles that I always wanted to do when I was getting into graphic design. But the projects that I did in school, like it never worked for the projects I wanted to do. So I got my sketch. Let's see, I kind of want to go for like a paper cutout type beat. Let's get her done. So first thing I'm gonna do, select the subject. I think that's pretty good, copy paste. I just gotta do a little bit of cleanup to that. Okay, I'm gonna go to Illustrator. All right, all right. So here we are in Illustrator. Let's export as a PNG. Usually my process is I make all the graphics and vectors in Adobe Illustrator, and then I move it to Photoshop to add the effects. But when I'm working with an image like this, I kind of have to like make a rough image of what it's going to look like in Photoshop, and then move it to Illustrator to add the text and all the graphics. Wait. Yes. So I'm gonna just play around with some layouts right now. See what sticks, you know? Okay, so usually what I do to make a header for subtext, I heard of this little trick where you multiply your text size with the golden ratio which is 1.67, I believe. And that should increment your headers in like a predictable way. It's like more exact, so you just trust the number instead of like fiddling with all the sizes and stuff. I did some research on his newest album, Requiem, and what was the reasoning and message behind it? just so there's more stuff to work with and i read this interview and he talked about how it's a lot about like his purpose in life and mortality so that gave me a couple ideas i think maybe i'll add some motifs about that back when i go into the photoshop phase so i think i got some good ideas now and we're just gonna keep moving along Last time I filmed of uh, me doing graphic design, I got a lot of comments about me using the trackpad. And just so y'all know, I'm using this lasso tool. I'm using the trackpad. I am using the trackpad, y'all. I am crazy, y'all. Y'all were saying I'm crazy for using the trackpad. And then another thing I wanted to do is a like a paper cutout type beat. So I'm gonna find a uh, paper texture. Okay, and now I'm gonna go around and make like a little cutout around the paper. And there we go. Let's mask that. Boom. 
<laughs> okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That is pre that's pretty good, yo. Um, yeah, it's a lot better than I thought. Okay. And as you can see, the white of the paper does not quite match up with the white of the actual image and the text. Alright, so I'm thinking instead of just like a outline in the back, I'm gonna put a little crowd. Now we're gonna get into the big stylistic feature of Brutalist graphic design, which is the halftone kind of effect. So we're gonna go to filter, neural filters, I believe. No, no, I, I believe we're on. No, 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 no. What is that? What the freak? Okay, to add the halftone effect, we're gonna have to make a new layer and then edit fill with 50% gray. Boom. Also gonna put this as a good thing. Yes. And then we're gonna go to filter. No, we're not. Okay, so found out that the filter gallery wasn't working because my document was in CMYK and it only works in RGB. Oh my gosh, so many things. So it wasn't working because I didn't set this to black, it was at white, so everything, whenever I put the filter, it would be white. Now, go to filter. It already has all my filters because I've done this halftone effect before, but what it is, it's the 50% gray, you add some grain. In the grain, you could add a little more. Halftone, here you can pick the size of the halftone. Playing around and then I came across the circular half tone effect and I kind of likes it. It's kind of nice. So now we're gonna move on to working with some overlays and effects. Get like the paper folding textures and the crumpled paper texture. So I'm gonna look online for a couple of stock images of that and show y'all how to incorporate those into y'all designs. All right. Okay. I just want to go eat some dinner. You know what I'm saying? Have some good chicken. So, but right now. I'm um, about to put like this paper crease texture, paper cutout. I think it'll give it a nice effect. So I found this nice black paper with the creases texture. And I'm gonna put a clipping mask. Blending mode, screen is nice. I think I'm gonna go with screen. Yeah, it's pretty low res. All right, found a higher res image. This looks like cardboard actually. Same effect. Oh, that's nice. All right, so I went ahead and added some textures. I added this paper texture. It was basically just a, a black piece of paper with white folds in it and, and I put it to lighter color and that gave it a little texture on the black background. But I also wanted some texture in the whites. So I added a white piece of paper right here, put it to darker color, kaboom. Oh, I put it behind the figure of Keshi because I wanted it to stand out as like a brighter color of white since he's the main focus. I added a uh, Houston, Texas because uh, in his new album he talks about Oh, you know, repping his hometown, Houston, Texas, you know what I'm saying? I was sure to include that. And something I wanted to do in Illustrator is to make like a little lightning bolt coming out of his guitar. Kind of like a scrapbook vibe. Also like that spider punk, you know what I'm saying? I love spider punk, y'all. Um, that looked kind of funktacular. <laughs> Click A to edit the shape. Come on guys, comment below if you guys know what a lightning bolt looks like. Comment below if I'm tripping. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yas, guys, I think we did it. We did it. Guys, what? Oh. <laughs> Damn, bro. Damn, bro. That's a lightning bolt if I've ever seen one. Duplicate that. And kaboom. Two lightning bolts. Yeah, so we got the two lightning bolts. Boom. Yes, yes, yo, that looking good, man. Okay, it's a little bright. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Come on now, that's looking mighty fine. That looking mighty fine indeed. Let me add some grain, bruh. That really brings it together, you know. This is a little graphic design joke, you know. You just add in the grain, bruh. 
when in doubt add the grain bro and then filter gallery got all of them let's put the film green boom grain more grain kind of area density i don't know all just looks like grain to me there's our grain put it to overlay y'all seeing that grain Ooh, ooh. all right is there anything else i should add to this you know with the design part of design is knowing when to stop you know when to call it i have trouble with that sometimes you know so i'm gonna say i'm gonna call this complete bro so let me export this put it on a mock-up so we can see it in poster form okay so now let me show y'all how to mock it up when it's just an image so here's the blank thing it's just an image flat so just put it on there all right i'm gonna show y'all how to mock up your poster when it's just a flat image like this all you gotta do it's pretty easy for designs like a poster because it's just a rectangle on photoshop you hold down command and then you grab the corner and you can move it any way you want play with the blending modes to see which one fits and that one fits pretty good in my opinion thank you all for watching you know get to see my graphic design process it's still a growing process as i'm getting back into graphic design these days and it's pretty nice making something for fun this was a fun video to shoot i had a poll on my youtube and it said that you guys wanted more graphic design videos so let me know what other kind of videos you guys want in the future and i'll be sure to read them and listen to y'all's opinions you know what i'm saying also, I got a project that I'm working on, been working on in the background. It's a little secret, but y'all better see, you better drop real soon. See y'all.